and um, yeah okay yo youtubers I'm gonna do a concert for you <laughs> Alright, um, yo YouTubers, this is going to be really quick and poignant, I don't even know if it makes any sense really, I'm trying to um, point out things that like, I don't know, a lot of people haven't noticed, you know what I mean, like, a lot of people haven't noticed about the world and that, right, and I know that it's all been foreseen, right folks, the, um, what I'm getting at in this video, I don't know how this is going to record, I'm, I'm sort of hoping it just comes on the screen as a should. I'm not doing a live transmission. But um you know the points at which like um they knew the future. They knew what they were doing years ago. You know Aaron Russo, the guy he mysteriously died of cancer after finding out loads of stuff from the um, Rothschilds or the uh, Rockefellers, sorry, it was the Rockefeller he was close to one of the Rockefellers. And he, he just suddenly, you know, he, he died. But remember, he, 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 he was the first person to give an account of the Rockefellers admitting to him that they wanted everyone chipped, right, folks, right? Now, that's quite a long time ago, isn't it? When the millionaires, remember, the bigwigs and the millionaires, they're all used to the money, remember? They used to like the most, like, powerful hi-fis, any, anything technological. The, the wealthy folks, that's where it's all at, you know? Um. So what I want to do is I want you to watch this commercial, right, folks, and think about like how uh, you know the company Intel. And like I've got a, I've got my PC has got an Intel in it. It's an Intel i3. It's not really you know a powerful chip, but it's like one of the latest ones, right? Now I know I just know there are areas in that chip that just are out of my reach and out of my command. And there's something in there, right, folks. Um, you know the way, like it's like the, the oh, what's the word? It's, the, it's the, the the elephants in the room. I don't know, but we've all got a computer of some kind, right? And we've all got problems, or our televisions are telling us a load of crap, or even when we go online using them computers, right? Unless we're looking at each other's footage, you know, like people who are doing videos, like myself, where we're all kind of, you know, we're on working class or put our benefits or whatever. Now. All the wealthy folks are all used to being in those, like, big, powerful mega chips, you know, the ones that are like, I mean, I can get an i7 chip to replace the i3 chip in my computer, right, just to speed it up, right, you know, for things like video editing and music production, because the, the i3 chip in it is too slow for me, for me Steinberg, it, there's loads of things I can't use, you know what I mean, it's lacking, like, the RAM is 16 gigabytes, so it, it's got to be enough RAM in there, right, but... As I learnt on a college course, right, the chips have to be heated up. Now, in a telephone, in a mobile phone, you don't you don't need a heatsink, do you? But they're saying that the chips are more powerful than what's in a lot of PCs these days, right? Well, they're not really because it's just it's each generation, right? We you know when they say first generation, second generation, third generation, the generation tells you what size and proportion and level you're on, right? Depending on what chips you use. If I have, a, like, a first-generation chip in that, I'm going to be bigger. My my world and my universe is going to be bigger because as each generation of each chip comes by, right, they're shrinking us, they're, they're taking us, like, they use the media to draw us into their world, and then they're shrinking us into... We're all in a box. We're, if we're watching media and, and sigils, you know, the electronic sigils where they use graphics and really bombastic music. But anyway, I'm just going to skip. I, I don't want to go too far on the subject matter, right? Um, inside a Pentium processor, right, there's silicon, obviously. And it has to be heated up. Right now, I don't get this. I did this in college. I did a computer course in college where we 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 use the you know we we use one of them laser beam heat you know it detects heat, and they they let the chip warm up out of you know out of a computer. They let the chips uh, they switch the computer on and the processor warmed up without the heat sink on it. Right, folks, 
and to show us what happens and it just came, it just packed in it just heat got so hot but they had the little monitor on it like saying you know it's going up to 200 degrees guys do you understand we we were watching it go from like 5 degrees 10 degrees 20 degrees it shot up like you wouldn't believe it, you know what I mean? And then, obviously it gets so hot, boom, something inside goes, right? But they put a heat sink on the top of that to cool it down again, to bring, like, so there's a barrier, there's a there's a place, like, like, the, like the, the space between water and air, or the space between the vacuum and, 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 the, and the atmosphere or whatever, you know, between what we can see and what we can't see. Well, in a chip, we know they're man-made. They're all man-made by eggheads in Silicon Valley or whatever, right? And then you've got, like, well, silicon itself. Silicon itself. But anyway, just watch this, right, folks, if I can get it on the screen. I'll do it. Um, I'm going to shrink into the corner now. Hey, you don't have to look at that ugly face anymore. <laughs> now, if I put this advert on full size, right, you should, it should come on on the screen right but watch this advert right folks well you don't have to i don't want to put a command in there but please take some time to to, to listen to what i'm saying about this advert all right it should come on full screen i'll put it on full screen so that you can see it right i've, I've got it it took me ages to find this advert right guys i had to dig it out before it disappeared <laughs> We invented the Pentium 2 processor to do amazing things. Right, for your PC. you see that then? So it seemed only fitting to find an equally amazing way to bring it to the world. Remember, this is like the 90s. This is a long time ago. Notice we can't identify anyone in the advert. You yeah, can't see the faces. We can't tell who they are. They could be people we know for all we care. We could, we could like, you know. The, uh, the 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 shopkeeper down the road or whatever like but you notice this I, I it took me ages to look for this man because it was in my head what do you see there folks right <laughs> and remember everyone inside there's a chip there's a chip actually in the middle of it can i put me yeah you see obviously that's a processor there and there's a chip there and it's uncovered when you buy a computer that's all covered up you can't even look inside them right with this out there they've all got masks on we don't know who they are right he's holding it up in a tube and remember that's like look at the size of it compared to his hands this is like when the, the technology now right the technology now compared to then is is vastly changed hasn't it right folks so I shrink that down there, right? And, and what do you see? Look, man, I'll get this on now. It's like, I know the pictures are a bit lame and small, guys, but, um, okay, so, do you see what I'm saying? It, it, that's visible on the screen, big enough. I don't know if you can see that on me, but, oh, who's that ugly bastard? <laughs> right. So you see what that is? It's all the workings of, of the, all the years of shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. Ooh, ooh, I didn't want you to see that. Uh, shrinking everything into this, what we call the RFID chip, which is, you know, if you've seen the film, The Manchurian Candidate, where they get them in. I'm, I think I've got one in, in my back, guys. I think someone's injected me with this crap. I don't know who's done it like, but... I've seen that film, The Manchurian Candidate, and I know the feeling, let's put it that way. I get this, like, little itch, and I can't look at it, can I? I can't look at my shoulder blade. I can't, like, you know, you can't look at your own shoulder blade, can you? Do you understand? But I'm sure I've got one of these in me, mate. Right, but if you look at the technology of that, what they're saying, that, like, the, the chip inside a, a plastic tube, and then look at what they're telling us in this advert. And they make sure they ram it in our faces, mate. Look, it's in your face. Watch, man. In your face. Oh. It's the RFID we chip up there. The they could be tiny, couldn't they? They could be little tiny men so inside the chip. To find an oh. amazing way to bring it to the world. It's a seal. Sterile environment, folks, you know. Just like when they go into space. But they're enough to put anyone off of buying an Intel, aren't they? 
You're not supplying anyone. <laughs> we invented the Pentium 2 processor to do. And then you see there, how long ago was this advert? And look what you're they're holding an RFID chip, the equivalent. But obviously, that's still when it's giant, you know, when they've, they haven't shrunk it down, right? Now, blast ourselves forward into the future, like, um, there's a phone that can fit in your pocket, and they're saying, um, it's more powerful than a PC. Uh, and it doesn't need a heat sink, right? There's no fan on it, obviously. So they've uh, done away with the need to be hot inside the chip, haven't they? You know. Anyway, I don't know if anyone will find that relevant or get what I'm saying. Like that, what will be eventually become? It's already in your hands, right, guys? That the this thing, the um, where are we? Let's go back. This um, thing, or this, I don't know what's the best illustration, it's a bit big one. It's already in your hands, guys, you've already received the mark in your right hands or your left hands, it doesn't really matter, but what hand do most people use to, to pick up a telephone and answer a phone or use a phone, you know, they hold it in the right hand, don't they? And I don't care what anyone says, guys. I know that is their master plan, is to put them chips inside you somehow. And they're getting close to it by the fashion, right, folks? The fashion of everyone wanting an iPhone. You know, it's like, have you seen those kids at Christmas and the American kids and the, and the parents give them a cheap phone and pretend that's what they're getting for Christmas? And the kids will actually hate the parents. They'll be like, there's videos on YouTube showing it, like, where, like, you know, instead of giving them an i, an, an, you know, an i, an iPhone or a, a whatever Samsung Galaxy or whatever it is, an iPhone seven or eight or whatever, they give the kids a cheap phone and say, "There's your Christmas presents." And the kids literally look at their own parents, right, folks, as if to say, "I hate you, mum and dad, for getting me this cheap phone." All because of a phone, right? And then they, then they give them the real phone and the kids start going, Oh, I love you, Mommy and Daddy. Thank you. That's the phone I wanted. Pfft, I'm telling you, my folks, they've already got their own way by that happening. For the human race to actually speak about their own parents or talk about their own parents like that. Because, remember, we're not talking about any old presence. We're not talking about a motorcycle or whatever. We're talking about a fucking phone. You know what I mean? What? what? <laughs> So I'm trying to get to everyone's heads, mate. Get rid of the things as fast as you can. I'm not, there's, you know, I can't stress it enough. Buy a CD or an, or an MP3 player to listen to music. Buy a video camera to make films. Buy a stills camera to take photographs. Get everything as separate items, but don't have one of these things in your pocket, man. Because look what it's coming to, man. I know what they're, they're telling us in our faces that oh, one day, Everyone's going to be have one of these inside them and they can repair themselves and we don't even have to have doctors to look after them or nothing. <laughs> no, it's all going to be automated. So don't fall for it, guys. I don't know if anyone's seen this advert and remembers it, but it's down an RFID chip, RFID chip in their hands. Like, they're blasting it in our faces sarcastically. Who Who is wearing them costumes? I don't know. Probably the most, you know, like the most annoying. Amazing things for your PC. So it seemed only fitting to find an equally amazing way to bring it to the world. Buggy people, buggy people, all right. They're bugging all those mates. Buggy people. That's what exactly what they are. Buggy people, bugging, trying to bug all of our heads with the technology. Anyway, I, I better. Um, I'll get off anyway. And thanks for watching, folks. Um, um, <laughs> I've been meaning to get this outfit out, uh, this uh, thing out, because it just took me ages to find that one Intel outfit with that little chip on it, like in the glass case. Just all that time. Nearly an hour. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, folks. I will be back.